So if you are, if you want to be a real teacher, if you don't agree with what I'm teaching, why are you trying to force your world on my world? I never do that. Remedy. I've never forced none on your world. There's a lot of shit you didn't say that I don't personally agree with, but nobody would never know. Because that's true wisdom. Because just because I don't agree with it don't mean it's not true. Because downloads don't work like that. Because if we going to think like that, we might as well all go back to believe in Jesus as the, as the Savior, nigga. Ain't that a Christian theology mindset? Yes, it is, man. So me, I'm not going to give out my life force to this energy. I had to just address it, man. I had to address it that that is not wisdom. So take the wisdom off your name, dog. And unlike you, I ain't got to sneak this, nigga. I ain't with none of that. That's how I know you're a coward because you talk about me over and over and over and over and over again, again for weeks now without saying my name. Like motherfuckers don't watch me. Like I got 30 million plus. This platform is 30 million plus people follow me across five platforms on a website. I've already had hackers look into my analytics. So I know YouTube dumps down my numbers. The video I have 400,000 views. YouTube would say you got 75K. Facts. And to be people that be subscribed, don't even get the notifications when I go live. They unsubscribe motherfuckers and all that. True wisdom is to let each and every soul be who they genuinely are. You don't judge nobody, remedy, off what they teaching. Judge the person off a soul, off their intent. What is my intent? You see, because I can walk up to a Christian person right now and tell them that we gods and they will not believe me. Or you, or anybody that call themselves a spiritual content creator. Or awoken, or whatever you want to call yourself. I'm making a point here. You know that, right? If me and you, Remedy, or anybody, these other people, we all come together, right? And we walk up on some diehard Christians and say, you know that Jesus ain't real. They're going to say we're all going to hell. You do know that, right? And they ain't going to judge us for our intent. They're not going to see that these black gods are trying to bring our people together for a righteous cause to raise the vibration of the planet. You know what the Christians going to say? You going to hell because my scriptures don't tell me what you're what you telling you. Jesus ain't say that. So how are we going to take a Christian theology and apply it to spirituality, man? You can't do that. You can't do that. But you've got a wisdom behind your last name, though. I could tear your whole everything you saying down and stand for Remedy H if I wanted to. And nobody would even listen to you ever again. But I will, I'm not going to do that to you. You see, that's what the Matrix want. You're not my enemy, man. Even though you're making me be yours. You know? Even though you're trying to make me yours, you're not mine. And the other people that sneak this at me, y'all not my enemy. And, and y'all will never be my enemy. Just stay the fuck out of my way. See what I'm saying? But y'all not my enemy, though. True wisdom is to judge because the universe works like that. The universe judges you on your intent. That's all that matters. What was your intention behind what you did? What was your intention behind what you said? What was your intent? So is my intent unpure? Can't not a YouTube creator say it, nigga. You can say you don't agree with what I'm teaching. You can say that, but you can't say my intent is unpure. So why are you making me your enemy? And if you call yourself elderly counsel, let me put y'all on game. One of the gods in my university, right? He took my logo that I got for the university, and he put it on some ashtrays, right? And he went to, like, post it on his wall. I could have went public and publicly humiliated him. Hey, man, motherfuckers out here taking my logo without asking me and trying to sell merch and, and let it go back to them. Because he had put it, hey, hit me up for orders and everything, using my logo. Like, if you're going to sell something, bro, that's use your logo. And if you're going to sell something with my logo, you got to talk to me. That's my logo, nigga. What is you on? I created that. The ancestors gave me that. I designed that your, this logo for the university because I designed that personally. Every little piece of it has a spiritual meaning. But did I go public with him? Did I did I jump under um? Did I jump under his post and humiliate him? No. 
I got in the inbox and talked to him privately and then had a FaceTime with him privately. And I'm like, I, I, cause I understood, I understood that his intent and his wife's intent was not impure. Their intent was pure. Their intent was pure. So I talked to him personally, like, listen, if you're going to do that, don't do that like that. Definitely without talking to me, da, 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 Plus, it's all this going on. If you're not going to stand and die with me and fight with me in this war, then don't be trying to sell nothing with my name on it, dog. He respected that. But we held that conversation. Free Larry Hoover. We held that conversation privately. When I could have went and did a live and people in the university know him and could have been blasted, I didn't do that. That wouldn't have been real over rich, man. You don't do that. You don't agree with anything I'm saying, dog? You got my number, Remedy. You could have called me, dog. You could have called me, nigga. You could have. And then when we did have a talk on Facebook, you still turn around and publicly try to come at me, nigga. When I came at you with humility, when I could have said, fuck what you talking about. So that's what I call mistaken humility for weakness, dog. I could be the most disrespectful person you you ever met? Don't ever get this shit misconstrued. I'm from I'm from Chicago, man. Don't let all me teaching about nothing ever make you forget who I am, cause I never forget who I am, nigga. I don't give a fuck where I go. I know how to. You get what I'm saying? For real, for real, nigga. And then when I get the nigga, I come slide on you, the whole family, niggas. Be oh, why you talking like that? That's the Chicago in me, nigga. You don't play with me, cause I ain't gonna play with you. Because if you do play with me, I'm going to play with you and everything that you love, nigga. If it, That's how that's war, nigga. If it's war with me, it's war with everything. I don't give a fuck who agree on the internet, nigga. I don't know how to halfway war, nigga. Nigga, if it's war, nobody say. Ain't that what those presses did to us? When it's war, nobody say. Uh, your mama, your daddy, your kids, nobody. That's real war, nigga. That's real war, right? So I'm not going to war with you, dog. I'm not finna war with none of my people with carbon in their skin. No, none of my Latino brothers. None of you YouTube, because I'm not on that with y'all. I'm saving this war for the real oppressors, nigga. These motherfucking reptilian shapeshifters. And these human beings, these high, these elites, this, these racist motherfuckers is running the world right now. That's all I got to say, man. You feel me? So I'm sending the deepest of insight to all y'all, man. And no matter how many, how much y'all continue to diss me or whatever, man. Keep doing that, man. And while you doing that, I'm going to keep teaching the people. And the people going to continue to see that you're using your energy to attack one of ours. You feel me? Because just like the people love you, they love me too. So what's going to happen is you're going to make the people that's following you, Remedy, stop fucking with you because they love me too. And they're like, damn, hold on. I see the young guy giving you respect. I see this young guy. da 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 that's like Isis Wisdom. That's my sister. People hold me. Her, people have heard me big her up, say her name a million times. And if she was to ever sneak this me, people would stop fucking with her. Because they would be like, hold on, I've heard this man respecting you, Isis. She ain't never did that to me. You feel me? But what I'm saying is, you can't have a platform, dog. You can't be out here like people don't know you, Remedy. People know you, Remedy. And people know Rashad Jamal. So if they see Remedy dissing Rashad Jamal... But Rashad Jamal not dissing Remedy, what you think they're going to eventually do? Now what you're trying to do is tear me down to bring more people to you, which is fucking stupid. Because it shouldn't even be about that. You don't need to try to tear me down to do that because I'm divinely protected. Any missiles you fire at me going to come back at you anyway. You see what I'm saying? You can't tear, the, you can't tear down what the ancestors built anyway, so I don't even know why you're trying. I don't even know why America, why y'all bitch ass trying. Nothing going to stop this. I was sent here to do this. Nothing will stop me from freeing the planet. Nothing. Nothing. I came here to enlighten and inform and increase the frequency of the planet while helping this planet to get rid of its parasitical invaders. These motherfuckers that, that run the world are parasites. That's my soul contract. I ain't never forgot it, nigga. I don't give a fuck who I got to turn my back on. I'll never turn my back on my soul contract. Now, if you want to hop on my shoulders and ride, come the fuck on. If you don't want to ride, get the fuck off. But whatever you do, do not stand in my motherfucking way. I'll repeat that. My soul contract. I didn't come here for likes, views, followers, their comments, your comments. 
false accusations, money, cars, fame, none of that shit. Look me in my motherfucking soul. I came here to enlighten and inform and increase the frequency of the planet. And lead this planet in this revolution, which we will win, where we will rid this planet of its parasitical invaders. Who are the parasites? The elite. Because they have drained our planet of all its natural resources. They are killing our kids, our women, our goddesses. 